Okay, as you can see, the, today's video is about a uh, slide projector. And uh, not just any slide projector, but a Bell and Howell Slide Cube RF60 projector. And um, this is actually a kind of a unique slide projector in the sense that it's not really made for a carousel type uh, slide, slide, I guess like slide holder, kind of like this. It's not really made to have a carousel or for a carousel. Um, instead it's a cube and that's a little unique but this particular model here uh, came out in, oh there's a handle right here. This particular model came out uh, I, sometime in the late 70s. It may have been 78 or something like that. I couldn't exactly narrow that down. But uh, up here on top it says slide cube RF60 remote focus. And uh, a little bit of a side note, I got to a thrift store and it's actually missing the cover and the little cube magazines that you would slide in right here for your decks of slides. Um, but this little piece came with it from the thrift store. I'm not sure if it actually, this actually goes with the slide projector or not, but it does. It is for a sli some sort of slide projector or something to do with slides. It says slide edge right there and uh, slide ejector right there. But anyway, so uh, this, uh, like I said, it's missing the cover, but it's still pretty heavy. Um, and uh, there's a little panel right here on the door that opens up. There's the the, uh, the cord, the switch, this little spring uh, mechanism, and this remote control for advancing this or slide advance either in forward or reverse recall. Or here and here's the focus button. Now I don't think the focus actually works on uh, up here. I don't think it does. Uh, I can turn it by hand, so it's still actually I, I can get, still get the slide to focus, just not remotely. Um, and uh, this is actually a very unique slide uh, projector because uh well let me just let me op push this to the side over here and lift this up and show you the inside of it so you have this little disc right here and it rotates so let me see if i can plug this in Oops, there comes the remote control back out i'm gonna try to plug this in and i'll see if i can get i can show you a pretty good understanding of how this works there's the fan i hope you hear the fan can you hear the fan And uh, here's the light. There we go, pretty bright now. And so if I push the button down, let's see, it rotates. So, uh, which means if I take this slide out of here, like I said, I don't have the magazine thing, so I can't redo this very, very easily. There we go. Um, there we go. <laughs> but I can put a slide in up here at the top, like this. And I can take the remote and push it to advance. I'm just pushing the button down. And it spins all around. And then drops down this little spring compartment thing. Uh, which would then be loaded back up in your little cube mag magazines, which I don't have. But uh, still very unique uh, slide projector. Let me close this back down. There we go. And see, that's that's uh, where the, the uh, slide would be projected onto the wall, the little light there. But while I'm, still doing, while I'm still showing this, I'm going to cut the light off and leave the fan on because that light gets really hot. So down here on the uh, uh, little more, little better view of this panel here, there's a diagram of each of the functions and uh, look at what's going on here so you can see it better. Each of the functions and all the different buttons and everything. So there's like to load slides. Um, now, oh, also it says complete instructions will be found in instruction uh, in the instruction book. Now, I didn't actually get that instruction book. I'm kind of having to figure this out just from this panel and from other videos I've seen online. Uh, but I actually didn't realize this remote control was actually here, like was actually a remote control until just you know a little bit ago. I didn't realize I was actually in here. I thought it was because when I got it, the remote control was. Uh, let me get this cord pushed in here. Well, it's stuck in here. Well, I can't get it stuck in there. But it was stuck in here. I didn't realize I could just pull it out. That's pretty cool. And even with the the light off, things still rotates, which is pretty cool. So let me 
Oh, so here's the other side too. It's kind of like that nice like wood finish, or not really wood, but it's like false wood or whatever. So let me uh, demonstrate how this works here. Let me. I gotta build up the projector so it'll show on the wall better. Cut the light back on. good enough for this demonstration here so I got some slides here um, a couple of them or a few of them at least uh, let me see if this is the one yeah this is the one I want right here so this actually is a pretty cool let me cut the light off so you can see better so I'm gonna put the slide uh, carefully in uh, the little uh, shoot Without the little magazine, it's kind of hard to do this. But let's like slide it on in. There we go. And so now I can push the button on the remote control here. So it rotates to right there. Now, I know this is kind of a glare. It's kind of hard to see. But that's actually like a window here. That's so like if somebody who's operating the projector, like at a school or at a get-together or whatever, can actually see what's about to come up next. So it's like, oh, and then next picture we did this. So let me just advance this into here. And let me focus the, there we go. This little ring fell out. You just need, need some glue put back on. Um, so, I don't know how well you can see that. Um, there's a little map right there. Different like territories that were in the US. Like there's unorganized territory right up. Oh crap, you can't, it's hard to see that. Um, but you get the idea. Uh, it's, I think it says 1820. It's a map from 1820. Uh, and then I can put another one in. Uh, let's see. So you'll see how it changes. So the next one should be, just be a blank or no slide now. So yeah, no slide. And down to this mountain range, which is I think somewhere. I don't sure. I'm not sure where. Um, I'll show you the slide in a second. There we go. That actually showed it better on the, oh, this slide. Showed it better. I don't know why. But I can kind of see down, well, you'll never see down in there. But um, whenever the slide is finished, cut the light back on. When the slides finish, they uh, drop down in this little spring thing. Uh, I thought I had another one in there. I guess I didn't. Um, but very interesting. Like I say, the if I had the magazine cube things, I got to have... They're, they're like magazines that you can like customize your decks of slides. So like it's like, oh, here's a trip to so and so. Here's the whole thing right here. So you stick it in and slide it up, and so it'll just like one by one start circling through uh, all the different slides from that magazine. Uh, wow, that's a bright light. Wow, that's, that's bright. But um, there's like the lens. Cut the light off. There we go. There's like the lens in there. I can see my hand. Yeah, you can see my hand right there. How about that? Um, but this is, I guess, if you have a jam or something like that. Which this thing has jammed a couple times, but I've managed to figure it out how to get past a lot of that. Um, this thing also has another feature here. I'm just going to put this random slide in right here. And it doesn't work very well. So this is actually just a blank slide. There's nothing actually on it. Uh, it's, I guess black, the color black or whatever. But you can actually recall this uh, by pushing the little recall button down and now pushing the button. Okay, it kind of got stuck there. Yeah, it's not wanting to work. Hmm, I wonder why this doesn't want to work. Let me open this up here. Oh, no wonder. I think that, that slide's jammed. Hang on. doesn't want to go backwards very well. It does sometimes, but not all the time. Um, then here's the little focus button, which which is trying to work. I hear it, the motor are trying to work. Yeah, it's not going to work very well. But I guess to focus it manually and get the uh, the forward to work. It's pretty good, the forward. I got it second-hand at the drugstore, so I guess 
it's not uh, expected to be all there. But that's pretty cool. I'm glad I got it. Uh, but because I got a lot of sides to look at, and I like retro stuff. So let me unplug this. Let me turn this thing back off. And there we go. And let me set this down off this little pedestal I built here, kind of pedestal. Thing. There we go. Move that over. Okay, and we're back to where we were to begin with. So, uh, let me try to neaten up some things here. It's like a lot of cords running every which way. That light bulb puts out a lot of heat though. It's, it's like, I can notice a, a temperature change in this room. I got it. How about that? Um, I don't expect that. I don't, actually don't expect that to hold very long. So, if that falls back out, then this falls back out. But, overall, it's a pretty good little side projector here. Um, a few little uh worn out places here here and there but it kind of gives it character really um like i say this is from the late 70s i think it's so like 78 or something like that so pretty old piece of our technology here equipment whatever and um i don't know if i can ever get this cork jumbled back in there i'll close the door but um this little ring fell off again from the lens it says um bell and howell uh lumina the Lumina 2, 100 millimeters f3.5. I'm not really sure what f3.5 means. So anybody who's like in the photography or field or whatever, let me know what that means. Um, but yeah, very nice projector here. I like it at least. Um, kind of unique for its time. Um, you don't really see very many of these like ever. I don't. I don't think I ever remember like. Well, I wasn't around back then, but I don't like remember hearing people talk about these. There we go, got the door closed. How about that? Um, but yeah, that's probably about it. Um, I think. Make sure I've not overlooked anything. Oh, the zoom lens. I didn't show, I didn't show that very well. Hang on. This will screw all the way in. Like that. And then I can unscrew it. Pretty far, actually, about that far. And so I can have any kind of focus in here in between or whatever. But overall, very nice. Um, I don't, I have a projection screen somewhere, like a screen, but I don't know where that's at right now. Um, but if I ever get a hold of the uh, magazines, I'll allow to uh, update a video. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And I guess with that being said, Have a great day. Take it away, Hayden. Have a great day. Nice seeing you.